okay welcome to this tutorial this is your boy CYB brought to you by Gospel Beats and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the certified cloud practitioner exam my personal study guide and my disclaimer is there are these are my personal study notes I made to prepare for the AWS cloud practitioner exam I can't I cannot guarantee all the information is hundred percent correct please do not use this video as your only source to prepare for the exam 90 percent of the content I got for this um, that I got in this PowerPoint is from the AWS website so with that being said let's go ahead and begin I'm actually taking the test tomorrow so this is my study guide and I figure I would do a YouTube video for myself and anybody else who, out there who want to kind of study and like kind of like flash cards or whatever so let's get into it alright so responsibility model the customer responsibility is customer they're responsible for the customer data security in the cloud platform applications identity and access management operating system the network firewall client side data encryption authentication server side encryption files data network traffic protection and AWS is responsible for physical hardware storage databases configuring and managed services edge locations regions availability zones global infrastructures natural disasters compute networking monitoring CloudWatch collect metrics and logs from all resources in the cloud and locally monitor with dashboards to troubleshoot and set alarms act automate response to events with auto scaling analyze real-time one-second metrics data retention improve the total cost of ownership and opt optimize applications cloud trail government compliance risk auditing log logging monitoring retaining record events across AWS find out who made API calls SDKs command line CloudWatch can use this information to take action cost total cost of ownership TCO calculator basically it allows you to calculate your company's cost versus if you was using AWS and it tells you your savings reduce large capital investment pairs you go model detail report no upfront cost cost explorer easy to use inf inf interface visualize understand manage costs and use usage over time dive deeper in cost usage data identity trends pinpoint cost drivers detect anomalies future forecasting trusted advisor customized cloud expert real-time software inspect AWS environment for money saving performance reliability security part of as part of the admin console consolidated billing the master account is the payer is called the payer account and the member accounts is a linked account so basically the master accounts is over top of all the linked accounts security DDoS prevention WAF web application firewall AWS shield cloud front load balancer NACL subnet and VPC to protect against incoming traffic requests security groups access a firewall that controls traffic allowed to reach one or more instances up to five security groups only use SSH into EC2 instances that are attached to the security group penetration testing get permission from AWS first it can it can be done on your infrastructure only Amazon inspector 
automate security assessment service that improves security and compliance in applications deployed. Automatically assesses applications for exposure, vulnerabilities, and deviations from best practices. Identity access management. I am roles. Determine what the identity can and cannot do in AWS. And this access is temporarily. Secure communication between EC2 instance and S3. I am manage users and their level of access to AWS console is universal root account complete admin access by default users have no permissions by default databases RDS MySQL Postgres SQL Microsoft SQL Server Oracle multiple AZ Re replica DynamoDB, no SQL, no relationship database, serverless, fully managed, Redshift, data warehouse, Aurora, MySQL and Postgres SQL compatible, relation, relational database built for the cloud, managed by Amazon, host self managed database in AWS, complete control over the database en engine and infrastructures. Storage S3 transfer acceleration enables fast, easy, and secure transfers of files over long distances between your client and the S3 bucket. Transfer acceleration takes advantage of Amazon's CloudFront globally dis distributed edge locations. S3 cost depends on gigabyte size of storage, 5 terabytes, and maximum buckets is 100. Import data into AW into Amazon, Glacier API, Glacier SDK, S3 lifecycle policies, Snowball petabytes of data mailed to AWS, Glacier infrequently accessed data archives. Instance types, reserve instances, discount up to 75% compared to on-demand instance pricing. Assigned to specific Availability zone with capacity reservation. Available when you need them for applications that have a steady state or predictable usage. Spot instances can be interrupted, fault tolerant, flexible applications, big data, data analysis, batch jobs. Is you can save up to 90% compared to on demand. Medical and scientific computing. Bids, if your bid is low, and you can save money. Your bid is low and it hasn't reached your bid, you can save money. Dedicated host, physical EC2 server dedicated for your use, can help reduce costs by allowing to, allowing to use existing server bound software licenses, including Windows Server, SQL Server, and Linux Enterprise Server, subject to license terms. On demand, you pay for compute capacity per hour or per second. No long-term commitments or upfront payments. Applications with short-term, spiky, or unpredictable workloads cannot be interrupted. Disaster recovery, backup and restore, the highest amount of downtime. Pilot light, scenario in which minimal version of the environment is always running in the cloud. Warm standby. Multi AZ has the least downtime. Availability zone. Isolated location within AWS region. Put in multiple multiple regions for better disaster recovery. RRS reliability 99.99. RRS durability 99.99. S3 durability 99.99999. S3 availability 99.99. So S3 durability is the only one with the most nines. Key points elasticity allow applications to scale up and down, diverting traffic to instances based on the demand and the least load. Elastic Beanstalk 
easy to use service for deploying and scaling web applications and services deployed with Java, .NET, PHP, Node.js, Python, Ruby, Go, and Docker on familiar servers such as Apache, NX, Passenger, and IIS. Upload code in Elastic Beanstalk automatically handles the deployment from capacity provisioning, load balancing, auto scaling to application health monitoring. You also retain full control over your AWS resources. Cloud formation. Model, entire, model your entire infrastructure in a text file. It's like a template, single source of truth for in infrastructure. Standardized code. Amazon Direct Connect. Easy to set up a dedicated network connection from premises to the AWS cloud can reduce network costs, increase bandwidth, provide consistent network experience than internet connections. You can also use a VPN connection. SQS fully managed service messaging querying service that enable you de to decouple keyword and scale micro microservices, distributed systems and serverless applications. You can send, store, and receive messages between software components at any volume without losing messages or requiring other software to be available. AWS Config, service that enables you to access, audit, and evaluate the configurations of your AWS resources. Configure continuous, continuously monitors and record your AWS resource configurations and allow you to automate the evaluation of recorded configurations against desired configurations. EMR manage Hadoop Hadoop framework that enables framework that makes it easy, fast, and cost effective to process vast amounts of data across dynamically scalable EC2 instances. You can also run other popular distributed frameworks such as Apache Spark, HBase, Presto, and Flink. VPC carved out portion of the of the AWS cloud. Virtual private network. AMI, Amazon Machine Image, provide information required to launch instance. You must specify a source when you launch an instance. You can launch multiple instances from a single AMI, a template for the root volume for the instance. For example, operating system, an application server, and applications. You can create from EBS back instances and snapshots. Snapshot, to take a snapshot of volume, then put it in another availability zone. In order to move one volume to another availability zone, copy snapshot to other region. Create image of that snapshot then boot as a new EC2 instance for backups image creates new AMIs is where image is saved. Amazon Elastic Cache offers fully managed Redis and Memcache real-time apps gaming ride hailing media streaming dating social media store as a database cache message broker Q real-time transactions CloudFront fast convenient I'm sorry fast content delivery network CDN service that securely delivers data videos applications and APIs to customers globally with low latency high transfer speeds all within a developer friendly environment using edge locations AWS Marketplace, Sales Channel, easy sellers to offer software solutions that run on the AWS cloud. Acceptance Use Policy describes prohibits actions. Policy document that provides a formal document of one or more permissions provides formal statement of permissions, resource, action, effects, principle, JSON, what user can do. Service control policies manage your organization and restrict at the account level of what services and actions the users group and roles in those in those accounts can do. 
support plans basic developer business enterprise enterprise have the support concierge AWS management console a web-based user interface PCI compliant means the payment car industry data security standard AWS offer these services that's PCI compliant last key point you cannot upload archives to Glacier by using the management console to upload data such as photos videos and other documents you must either use the AWS CLI or write code to make requests by using either the REST API directly or by using the AWS SDKs alright so this is the end of this tutorial I hope it helps I'm definitely going to use this to help me study and stay sharp because I'm taking the test tomorrow I may do an updated video and let you know if I passed or not but basically I did take it once and I didn't pass the first time so I know a lot of this information is actually on the exam based on the first the first time I took it so good luck I see you when I see you thanks